Hi everyone, in today's video we are going to analyze 3 Shiro, which is interesting because he's mainly a competitive BR player who has won quite a lot of tournaments in that field. She recently switched to arenas and I'm interested to see how her competitive experience translates over in a completely different game mode. Make sure to give her a follow on her Twitch and Twitter, I will link it in the description below. I will show two games from her in this video and without further ado, let's just start. <laughs> The first match of today will be on Party Crusher, and she is playing Pathfinder. The shy believes me. We pull to the building side of Party Crusher, and she will use her Prophet Boy. to get to the center quickly. Which she just about makes there. This is what yeah, I expect yeah. a pretty calculated playstyle because she is a competitive VR player and it's really required. Yeah, that was not takes the top to get guy. a good view of the top and bottom. And she started off with a really nice knock at the beginning of the round, which is really nice. So now they can just put on the pressure, which is doing, and finish off the last guy. Grab was the last guy. So uh, yeah, he can't get away anymore, <laughs> and it's over. Easy round. <laughs> so moving on to round number two. This will pull to the ship no, side, and she starts off with a grapple. This is a really unorthodox way of grappling. Don't really see people looking down that much usually when grappling, but it seems to work pretty well. She and her team are posting up quite wide, and she oh, wants to start off with taking top since the enemies are not really contesting it together. I think there's only one up top, so she <laughs> recognizes that and wants to take control over their height to take a lot of space. Fortunately, Ofe comes down, so she really needs to make a play, and she got him knocked here. So now it's an easy playing field. Uh, I cracked the rape here. Fortunately, uh, a really nice pump Rape's from the track. enemy raid got her out of the game. So now it's a 2v1. Oh, oh, Still winnable, no. but Someone unfortunately, t Don loses the fight. Nice oh, try. So moving up to round number three. And it, with it being equal, it's one versus one. And let's just see what she will do to put it back in her favor. Okay, it's right here on the truck. Just taking top of uh, ship to take a good look of where everyone is. She sees one enemy pushing through the bin. And uh, with her only having one bet, she what really needs to make a play. She can't really engage in a poke battle with uh, this I'm amount of her, heals. Me, like, literally on him. I'm, I'm going to help him. Yeah, yeah, it's a really good play by her. No, she unfortunately, queued, the uh, uh, raid queued out. She could easily have 2v1 him if it was any other character than Raid. Oh, and Tidon decides to push ship alone. Ugh. This wasn't really the play probably. So the, the 2v1 for Shiro went into a 2v1 against Don and he goes down. So now it's a 3v2. Uh, she holds a nice head pitch though, but she can easily get jumped here of course. And all three are probably holding height. And all they need to do is like drop down and uh, 3v1 her and she's out of the game. The Octane is not really helping her. Not really uh, mm, having her angles covered, and it's yeah, just a GT there. this round. Unlucky. Round number four now. Full ship side again, and with the enemies having two points and Shiro having one, they really need to win this, of course, otherwise it will just be over. And they start off with all taking uh, control over the top of their ship. And just playing it slow, looking for an angle. If they can get like uh, good damaging on the raid the there, has to move. then they uh, really could have pushed oh, up that. Secured. One night would have been enough since the raid was correct, but unfortunately it didn't connect. So they decide to not really make a play of it, which is probably good because the raid just needs to take a battery and everything is reset again. Keep holding mid. Tudon is holding a pretty wide angle on the side of the Could ship, which is nice if it gives you yeah. extra angles to work from. Dying and on it. Uh, Fuck. one got cracked there. Is there only one on roof? I recognize one um, player being on the roof. I think it is. And Shiro yeah, and Tudon yeah, both have uh, high yeah, mobility yeah. characters, so they can one, instantly yeah, take three. top of roof. Oh, two on roof. Yeah, do, 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 do. Okay. Oh, yeah, I'm going, I'm going. Which they're going to do. They both get cracked and I pushed on top of Rube, so Shiro decides to just oh jump God, down. Oh my god, that was so missed time. Taking uh, an unexpected angle on the raid. Boxer, get Harris out of the game. 
Shiro's 20, that's Shiro's 20. Fortunately, Octave gone yeah. down, but uh, Shiro can just reset. Tudon is pretty healthy and got a knock to us, so now it's a 2 one on him, we're chilling. Really nicely played oh, by Shiro and Tindal here. As you can see, they are really playing around each other, they do a queue. There he is. Yeah. Not making any stupid moves to uh, like uh, 1v1 the last enemy. Just 2v1 the last guy. And make sure you just can absolutely not lose it and they win the round. Moving on to round number 5, Shiro will start off with their zip line. This is of course really nice because you can take uh, control over center more quickly than the enemies can since they have no mobility so they can take way more space, starting you off with uh, a nice advantage. Rape is on me, 110 on the... With solo uh, pushing so she instantly grapples in to get her out of the game and she's already dead. And uh, the Octane also got one so now it's already a trivial one and an easy win this round. Well played by uh, Shiro and her team. Well, now it's match point for Shiro. So they pulled it back nicely in their favor. And this time it will be the ship side again. They start off with a really Damn. wide approach on the ship, holding left and right side of the ship, covering all your angles, neglecting a push uh, if uh, the enemy decides to do so. Body on rip. Is he alone in roof? Um, I'm pretty sure, yeah. I'm gonna push him. Yeah. Pretty uh, nice, they're you, communicating that one is alone in the roof. And uh, Shiro instantly goes for the push. Gets Shiro out of the game. And uh, now it's a 3v2, which Shiro only have taken uh, 70 damage. Right on the back of the ship. Alright. So, very winnable. Unfortunately, the Octane goes down, but uh, she has control over height, so can take a really nice angle which is unexpected for the enemy team and she gets everyone out of the game. What was that? Nicely noise? played what by her Tito. What? <laughs> her teammate made a noise at the mic. Second match of the day will be on Overflow. And uh, it pulls to the open side of Overflow. On this man. She starts off with uh, a not perfect grapple to take on 12 for center. But since the enemy team okay. doesn't have a Pathfinder, if they decide to take this side, they will uh, lose it every time. You take way more control if you're a Pathfinder and there's no Pathfinder in the enemy team. Pack. Starts off with a nice crack and T-Don is uh, looking that guy. And now it's already a 2v3. Enemies um, have uh, secured the house pretty one. nicely though <laughs> with uh, the cues <laughs> from uh, Catalyst and the cost of barrels. Nice. Knocks the Catalyst. So now it's a 1v1 versus the cost. No. Who is playing Caustic? Oh my god. You're so annoying. Fuck nice off. shots on the Caustic <laughs> and uh, he is dead too. <laughs> so the second round now. She will start off with a grapple again. Just so nice uh, that you're able to take so much space with Pathfinder. Uh, if the enemy side. team doesn't use it. And uh, the enemy team decides to go to the house side again. Probably because of their catalyst fuse and uh, get a lot of damage. The yeah, caustic awesome. barrels, which are really useful there. She did get some really nice yeah, shots in one enemy, so... Uh, looks pretty winnable. As you can see from the positioning from uh, Shiro and her team is that they're completely surrounding the enemies. And as uh, you could just shot one in the back, really nice shots there on the Catalyst. Catalyst cracks her back though, but uh, really nice wall bounce step straight to get the out, gets him out of the game, and she knocks the other one to really nice wing and shots there. Great shot. So with this game looking like a total rollover, let's continue to round number three. Starts off with the grapple again. And let's see what That's the enemies will do. Enemies start off with the S-port, but uh, she had a really nice wide angle and two are already knocked. And uh, it looks like this is already the game. Yep, it's over. Well played by Shiro and her team. So these game. were the games from Shiro. I hope you enjoyed the video and the gameplay and the analysis. And I hope to see you next time. Have a great rest of your day. Cheers.